I made a mistake. I saw a vulnerable photographer out in the woods, and I thought I could club him over the neck and steal his camera and dignity, and I realized that I was the troubled one. He deflected the hate attack with kindness, smiles, and hope for a better future, and I don't want to be a part of the negativity that we were surrounded in. Let's talk about it. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So a little while ago, I made a video about the two worst camera channels. <laughs> so clickbaity, I should be arrested. And it wasn't about two people. It was just two types of channels, the brand ambassadors and the camera stores. You can't really trust these people for like a, objective reviews because they're advertising, they're featuring their product, hoping to sell it. In the heat of the moment, I called out Robin Wong as an example of an ambassador. And I said like, yeah, your reviews aren't very objective. You're not pointing out any flaws. This is why you can't trust ambassadors. And a lot of people were saying like, that's not fair. He's the best, he's so nice. It's like, I didn't say he wasn't nice. I didn't say he wasn't a good photographer. I just said, from what I remember years ago watching him, I didn't get what I needed. I wanted to know certain things. How's the stable on that? Nothing. So honestly, it's my fault. I will take the blame. I'm so sorry, Robin, because I'm a videographer. I want to know video specs and he only does photography. So as an example, the Olympus 100 to 400, he said it was great, it's sharp, it's good. When I tested it in the store, I was like, the stabe is very bad. And then the manual focus was also completely unreliable and jumpy. And so like, he didn't mention that, but he doesn't do video. So that was part of my thing. Like, oh, he's not even telling you how bad it is for video. He doesn't even shoot video. So that's on me. I'm so sorry. I got a lot of ironic and weird comments saying he's no longer an ambassador, you moron. He's very objective now. I'm like, that proves my point. He's not an ambassador anymore and now he has freedom of speech. That's why he's better. Like I I saw that video he released, why I'm not buying the OM1. And I watched and I was like, that's very objective. Whoa, he's changed. Oh shit, I already made my video. Oh boy, so I linked it in the pinned comments and people were like, you made your video after he did. I was getting a bunch of hater comments about that. And I was like, I already had the video made. You have to understand, I make videos for like two weeks in advance. Right now it's, what, May 25th? I haven't even seen the Fuji Summit that I've already reviewed by my future self. So this is old news but it'll be new news for you. You're not on my past, but the point is I'm sorry, Robin Wong. I don't consider you one of the worst camera channels. That wasn't even, people kept saying like, he's not the worst, like it wasn't meant to be him. I was just giving you an example of an Olympus ambassador who's putting these cameras in a good light. And he commented himself in case you're disagreeing. He said like, as an Olympus ambassador, I'm getting a delivery of some sort. All the excitement is real. What was the point I was trying to make? I had a point. I forget everything I was saying. So he left a comment himself saying, yeah, as an ambassador, it's our job to like put a good light on these products and help this company. And so that's him saying it. I'm not like imagining ambassadors being dickheads or anything. It's just they're slightly biased towards that company. Delivery confirmed. Who wants to see me open the box instead of whatever I had to say? Oh, wow. oh it's my rose water. Uh, no one gives a shit. It hydrates your face. So I'm sorry, Robin Wong. I didn't mean to like throw the shade on you. He's such a nice guy too. He's always smiling, like such enthusiasm for photography. It's like, I felt like such a dickhead. Like I didn't mean to be putting him down. It's like, we should be helping each other grow as brothers and sisters working together. Why don't be that guy 
who builds your name off other names, making fun of popular YouTubers. I've done it many times. My most popular videos are doing that. <laughs> wow. I've always avoided the drama on my Vegetable Police channel, mostly, for the most part. Like, there was always these diet YouTubers who would watch other popular YouTubers' what I eat in a day videos and be like, oh my god, you're not vegan, oh my god. And just like create all this drama, I always hated that. And here I am, scum of the earth, down with the bottom feeders, just making fun of other people, I hate that. That's why I stopped making my UFC videos. I started a UFC channel, UFC Conspiracies. I'm like, this is fun. I watch UFC all the time, the mixed martial arts, the karate chops and the groin twists. And I was like, this would be fun to make videos about that. But I found myself judging all the fighters like badly. I was like, oh, this guy, I never heard of him. <laughs> Who are you? Who cares about your life? And it's like, Oh, I'm a dickhead now. I'm a reporter. I hate reporters who are just criticizing other people for doing stuff that you're not doing. Go do the stuff. Don't criticize other people for doing stuff. You stuff. So I'm going to go binge watch Robin Wong's channel tonight and see. I, I saw he had a Fuji GFX system there. Maybe he bought that. He still likes Olympus, so... It's not like he lied to you this whole time. He still shoots them, even though the new Olympus are demon children of the night and they don't include their former ambassadors at birthday parties. They're bad people. Doesn't mean the OM-1 is not worth getting if you're upgrading from the original OM-1 film camera. It's a little better. Someone posted that you go to an ambassador channel to learn about that camera. And they're like experts and showing you, okay, here's the features. Yes, you learn from them, <laughs> but don't expect them to be objective when you're looking to buy something and you're wondering what the flaws are. It's like, is this good enough? Like the R7, is that good enough? Everybody's talking positive about it. I'm seeing very soft 4K 60p. It line skips and the crop, that's less than a one inch sensor. Do you know that? APS-C crop. 1.6 times times 1.81 is 2.9 I think one inch sensor is a 2.7 crop don't quote me on any of that less than a one inch sensor and it looks like that it's not good I saw a review what's her name I'm gonna call out another youtuber why do I suck at this <laughs> wasn't her fault or him someone sent Canon sent somebody to another country with like their sharpest prime ever, that 300 mil 2.8 to use with this R7. Yeah, that's what everybody's gonna buy. I looked that thing up as $9,000. Yeah, everybody's just buying that lens. Look at the results you can get with the APS-C and that lens. So it was like, but even when she punt hit him, when he punched in, it wasn't a girl, it was like very soft. You could tell the 4K 24P was fantastic. Sharp, oversampled, thank you. Who shoots wildlife in that mode? I want it slower. So, to me, wildlife hero, I want slow motion footage. 4K 60p soft, 1080p even worse on the 120 frames. I didn't call anybody out for anything. Let's be real, the footage was better than anything I've ever shot, so it is what it is, but it doesn't mean that it was good enough for me. I could need better. You don't know that I don't. So, sorry, Robin Wong. I'm a moron and I genuinely feel bad. And I hope every, let's all go to Robin Wong's channel and subscribe and binge watch his content so he can get a couple dollars in the old money sack and put that towards a new Fuji GFX lens. Did he buy it? I don't even know yet. Let's all find out together, shall we? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna leave. How you doing? Subscribing, that's a good choice. To both of us, two for one. I like those specials. I'm gonna go. We're on a 35 mil 1.2. I, I stood far away back.